Hey there, welcome back to Lead Coding. In this video, we will be solving the second question of Lead Code Biweekly Contest 41. Name of the problem is Sum of Absolute Differences in a Sorted Array. You are given an integer array nums sorted in non decreasing order. Build and return an integer array result with the same length as nums such that result i is equal to summation of absolute differences between nums i and all the other numbers in the array. In other words, you can see the equation. So basically, looking at the first example, we can know that uh, for computing the answer for the zeroth index, we have to find the absolute difference of 2 with all the other numbers. So we have to find the summation of that. Obviously, the difference of 2 with 2 is 0, so that is why we can ignore this. And moving forward, we have 3. The absolute difference is 1. Then with 5 and 2, the absolute difference is 3. So the total summation is 4. So the answer for the 0th index is 4. Similarly, calculating the answer for the first index, the difference of 2 and 3, the absolute difference is 1. The difference between 3 and 5 is 2. So the answer is 1 plus 2, that is 3. Similarly, we can compute answer for all the other indices. So if we compute the absolute differences for the current index with all the other indices, it is going to take n square time. But as the constraints are high, we need to compute it in big O of n. So there's something that we can do. Let me show you with the help of this example. So if this is the array, and if you want to compute answer for let's say 6, so the answer for 6 will be 8 minus 6, 10 minus 6, so we have to add them. And if we go behind 6, all the elements are smaller than or equal to 6 because the order of the given array is non-decreasing. So for these indices which are behind 6, the answer will be 6 minus 4 and 6 minus 1. So here we can see the shift. Because the elements which are at the right of 6 are greater than or equal to 6, that is why we can write that element minus 6. And all the elements which are behind 6 are either smaller than or equal to 6, so we can write 6 minus that element. So we can utilize the order that is given to us, that is non-decreasing order. And what we can do is, if we combine these two things, it is nothing but 6 plus 6 minus 4 plus 1. So this is what we have to compute. This is nothing but 2 times 6 minus summation of all the elements which are at the left of 6. So we can call this as L sum, that is the left sum, summation of all the elements which are to the left of 6. And let's say there are x number of elements to the left of 6, then we have to do x multiplied by 6. x multiplied by 6 minus the summation is going to give us the absolute difference for the left side elements. Now talking about the right side elements, so this is nothing but 8 plus 10 minus 2 times of 6. This is equal to the R sum summation at the right side minus 2 times of number of elements which are at the right. So let's say there are Y elements to the right of 6. So 2 multiplied by Y. So this is what we have to compute. So this we can either do it by using prefix sum or what we can do is we can take the total sum the total summation of the array and let us say that is sum sum now while coming from the left side to the right side we can keep another variable that is going to count the l sum the left sum so when we are maintaining the l sum the right sum will be the total summation minus l sum minus the current element so that is how we can get the right sum as well so now we are going to look at the code to get better clarity of it. So as I told you, first of all, we have to calculate the total summation. So sum plus equal to A. This is the total summation. Now N is the size of nums. And we have to create an answer. Of size n. Now we have to compute it. So let us keep L sum. This is equal to 0. 
and the write sum we are going to compute at the same time also in order to keep track of the elements which which are at the left and which are at the right we can do it using the index also that is uh, the i index which we are going to use for the iterations but let us for the sake of clarity keep the number of elements which are at the left so l num it means the number of elements which are at the left and okay we can compute the number of elements which are at the right inside the loop so for int i is equal to 0 i is smaller than n i plus plus we are going to each of these elements and yeah so the answer for i is equal to number of elements which are at the left that is l num multiplied by the current element nums of i minus the total summation of elements till now that is l sum plus the total summation at the right side so that we have to calculate it over here int r sum is equal to the total summation minus l sum minus the current element that is nums of i so r sum the total number of elements which are at the right int r num is equal to total number of elements that is n minus 1 the current element minus the number of elements which are at the left so that is l num I'm just doing this for the sake of clarity otherwise I could have used this sum directly and keep subtracting the values from it and I don't have to create all these variables but here it would be more clear so r sum minus the number of elements which are at the right side that is equal to r num multiplied by the current element nums of i and after this we have to increase the l num plus plus and l sum plus equal to the current element for the next iteration I have to add this because this is now going to be the left element for the next element and hence the number of left element are going to increase finally I can return the answer let us try to run this now it is giving us correct answer let us try to submit and it got accepted talking about the space complexity uh, we are just using space to create this answer other than this there is only constant space so if we ignore this answer then it would be constant space solution and about the time complexity we are using big O of n here to compute the total summation and big O of n here as well to calculate the answer for each index so if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification to our latest videos thank you